Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out at me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Core Class Megatron and I love this toy. Released in the spring of 2021, this figure is brand new and starting to hit stores right now. As of the time of this recording, it is a core class figure, so it retails for approximately $10. And you can see Megatron here. I've already got him in his tank mode. He comes packaged in this little bubble card already in robot mode. You got some cool Kingdom Transformers artwork there. Really cool artwork depicting Megatron right there at the top. Really, really cool artwork. Around the back, you got some product shots of Megatron, both in his robot and in his tank mode. That's about it for the packaging. He does come included with his sheet of instructions, which is not in there. I've actually got it over here. So he's got a sheet of instructions, uh, fairly simple and easy to follow, but it's a core class figure and it's relatively easy to transform. He also comes packaged with his gun which is currently attached to his tank mode to complete his turret. So here we have Megatron in tank mode once again. He is approximately three and a half inches long and about one and a half inches tall. And uh, yeah, Megatron here is a pretty cool little tank. I really dig it. This is a very, very cool little model of a tank going all the way around so you can see all the details. Um, not perfect, again, not a whole lot to expect out of this class size, but there are a couple of things I think they could have done better. I don't mind the gun uh, mounting into the front there to form the turret. I actually think that's quite ingenious. I do like that a lot, but we've got this issue with the feet that are always sticking out lately on all these tank Megatrons that we've been getting. The feet are just very obviously showing off in the back of the vehicle mode. I don't know why they can't figure out a way to fold these up and get them put away. It would really be nice to start seeing some of these tank Megatrons with feet that disappear in tank mode. And then the other thing I was kind of disappointed at is that there's no wheels. And again, I know it's a core class, but some of the other core class figures have wheels. You can roll them around. This doesn't have anything. So he just, he just sits. I mean, you can push him along, but you can't really roll him. And I find that a little bit disappointing. For comparison, here he is next to Core Class Kingdom Optimus Prime. So you can see how these two compare to each other. And again, I think it compares well because a tank should absolutely be bigger than a truck. As a truck driver in the Army who was also stationed in a tank unit, uh, the size comparison actually works quite well for me. So this is really, really, really cool. Now you can take the turret of Megatron here and rotate it. It does go around 360 degrees. So that's actually really, really cool. And that's really kind of about it for the tank mode. So let's get this guy transformed again. Core class, real simple transformation. We're going to start by removing the gun from the front of the turret. And let's just show this off real quick because this is a really, really cool gun. Not exactly, but fairly reminiscent to his uh, G1 self which is really, really cool. At least the barrel and the flash uh, suppressor in the front here and the uh, the side on the top is uh, very reminiscent of his original G1 gun mode, which is really, really cool. Again, uh, some creative uh, license has been taken, but th it, it's there. You can, you can really tell that it's there. So moving on to the figure and the rest of the transformation, we're going to start with the legs back here. We're just going to unclip these from the side right there. And right there, you can see the little clip, a little hook right there that was hooked into the side of the uh, of the threads here. And then we're going to take these and use these double hinges, bring them all the way out and down. And there's a little tab right there on the outside of the knee that's going to go into a slot right there on the side of his shin. That's going to extend his legs. Snap those into place and rotate the waist around. Take the front of the tank and just kind of pull it down and out of the way, and that's gonna let us start working on the arms right here. We're gonna separate the arms 
So this peg on this arm is pegged into the side of his fusion cannon right there. So just on top of that and bring the arms around and forward. That's going to let you bring this uh, front part of the uh, threads up and over his back and all the way down. There are a couple of tabs right there that are going to go into slots. Let's see if I can show it off. It's kind of hard to show when it's all black, black on black, but there's slots on the front of the tank there and there. These tabs are going to go right into those right there. So that's going to snap into place, take his head, turn it around. Come to the arms. This forearm right here, turn it all the way around. Bring the fusion cannon, turn it all the way around. This arm transforms differently where we turn the entire arm on this, on this one. This one, we're only going to turn the wrist or the fist. And that's going to rotate that plate all the way around to the back side of a shin, just like that. And there... We've got Megatron in his robot mode, standing at approximately three and a half, three and three quarter inches tall. We can take the gun right here. We can give it to him so he can hold this in his hand just like that, which looks, you know, cool enough. Uh, he can hold it in either hand or if you go around his back, he's got these two little ports on his back. You can just go ahead and peg it into his back right there. And that's really going to complete that G1 look of him having that barrel over his right shoulder, which I think looks Really, really cool. And again, I really dig the look of these tank Megatrons that we've been getting lately. Megatron, we have to face facts. Oh, I didn't tab these in all the way. There's there's a little tab right there on the shoulder that's going to tab into the chest. So there you go. All right, where was I? We have to face facts. Megatron is probably never going to be a handgun ever again because of toy rules and, and regulations in the States and whatnot. So... The next best thing is going to be a tank. He's been a tank way more often than he's been a gun. Ever since the days of G2, he has been a tank. So let's just face it. Megatron's tank mode is probably the best mode that we're going to get for a Megatron besides the G1 gun. That being said, I love tank Megatrons. And I love that lately they've been using the idea of tank Megatrons and making them transform into a robot that looks like G1 Megatron. It looks like it could transform into that gun i absolutely love that i really dig that i am a big fan and i am a big fan of this this looks really really cool just getting in close let's take a look at that head sculpt check that out it's g1 megatron right look at that chest the details on his chest and his torso the little red highlights right there on his sides and the little red and blue buttons the yellow and black stripes the little silver grills all of it it's there it looks fantastic going all the way around not a lot to complain about with this guy you got a little bit of backpack there with the threads again at this class size i don't know what they could have done but it really is not that egregious it's not that big it's not that huge it kind of looks natural for him i don't mind it at all and look at that we even got filled in legs there's no hollowness on the legs this is fantastic this guy looks amazing for articulation the head can rotate side to side the shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can move him forward that far, back that far. He is hindered by his armor, let's call it, from his tank mode. He can go in and out. He's got a ball joint at the wrist, so he can, or sorry, at the uh, elbow, so he can bend it 90 and then turn it all over the place. Again, uh, ball, uh, ball joint at the shoulder here, ball joint at the elbow here, and also you got that wrist rotation, but if you rotate his wrist and you're moving that panel around, it, it, it might as well not be there. It's strictly for transformation. You can turn him at the waist. Again, ball joints at the hips, forward, backward that far, in and out. Rotation at the knee, ball joint bend at the knee, and nothing at the ankle. So again, a fantastic little Megatron figure. This is a really, really cool figure to have on your desk. It just looks really, really nice. And for comparison, here he is once again next to that core size Kingdom Optimus Prime. One shall stand, one shall fall. Look at that. These guys size perfectly together. These are fantastic little desk figures just to have on your desk and fiddle throughout your day with. These are absolutely cool, fantastic little figures. And I think that about covers the Transformers Kingdom Core Class Megatron. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there if you want to hit on that. I certainly would appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.